Hello, welcome to the Doctors Friday News Feed. Actress Gabrielle Sidibe has dropped some serious pounds and is now opening up about her weight loss surgery, which was performed back in May of 2016. We all remember the star who rose to fame playing that role of Precious in 2009, says she tried for more than a decade to lose weight naturally before opting for laparoscopic bariatric surgery after she was diagnosed with type two diabetes. And I love that she's coming forth talking about this was all about health. Mm -hmm. This was about getting her, her health in check. This wasn't about appearances. And it, it also, there's a bit of a misnomer, and I think she's helping correct it, that, oh, you go get bariatric surgery and done. You get well, skinny and, and life is great. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, and that's a great part of her story that she's emphasizing, yes, I got the bariatric surgery, but I made major life Major changes. Changes, meaning I'm eating right, I'm exercising, I'm getting my head right, because, I mean, she does give a history of issues. Her parents broke up. She had some psychological issues. She battled some... depression, anxiety, bulimia, and she really had to battle through that, which then led her with the new diagnosis of diabetes to do the gastric bypass. And what I also love is she's like, you know what? I'm not telling you all what I weighed or what my new target weight is. This is about health. I am losing my risk. So people, 35% of women and 31% of men in America are dangerously overweight. That is a phenomenal number of people whose lives will be compromised, shortened by 10 years on average, and most of the risk is in both heart disease and diabetes. So and this her is so brother, classic. interestingly, was also diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, and it's one of the major reasons why we, we all know that getting surgery is a big deal. And there's always this debate, and I think there's some a lot of times misinformation. You're not going in to get a surgery just to look better. And type 2 diabetes is such a serious illness. And people hear, the, hear type 2 diabetes, they think, oh, high blood sugar. Mm -hmm. But they don't think about the untoward side effects of that. And I'll tell you, if, if, if bariatric surgery can help someone lose some weight with the lifestyle changes, reducing their risk for complications from type 2 diabetes, it's a no-brainer for that individual. Yeah, Dr. Christie, I, I, I like the fact that she sort of ignores that weight number. It's not about pounds. She goes, hey, I, yeah, I was obese, clearly, and I'm not going to talk about what my goal is. She states her goals are twofold. I want to wear heels and feel good and be able to wear those heels. And number two, I want to see myself doing a cart, cartwheel. <laughs> I don't know if she's ready for the cartwheel <laughs> just yet, but, but I mean, that is a great goal. And it is, and I think there's a lot of criticism that people s will see this surgery as, oh, she's taking a shortcut. You know, she's been battling her weight since she was six years old, she said, as most overweight people do. It's a lifelong battle between emotions and how you deal with that through food and a lack of exercise, and then it compounds itself, right? You're so overweight that it hurts just to walk down the street. Well, you've you, got so much You're extra. the best one to comment on this, that, you know, a lot of people say that bariatric surgery is a cop-out. But it isn't. it's not. And I had a physiology professor that said obesity is incurable. That the, the whole that whole concept is something that you fight. You have to learn to deal with your disease, your problem. That's why I think for some people, bariatric surgery is a great option. The most important thing is this: is weight loss is really all about health, and it's an individual journey. And we just applaud her for sharing her journey with us. We wish her nothing but success.